A Moment with Tyranny podcast. This episode in conversation is powered by Homes with Tyranny. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back again to A Moment with Tyranny podcast. I'm so excited that you all are back again. Yeah. So today um, we're going to talk a little bit about, again, it's going to be real estate. Anytime that you kind of catch me doing a solo it's probably something with real estate not all the time but it's probably going to be about real estate so today I'm solo again but next week we have a great guest so that I'm excited about that last week we had a great a, a great guest so anyway um let's get started so this episode uh our topic is going to be about again real estate it's going to be we talked about sellers last uh the last time I did the solo so this time it's going to be buyers be prepared to view properties and be on time yes be on time so we talked to the sellers and kind of said hey make sure everything's prepared and so for the buyer to come in so let's talk all about the buyers so you know there's another side to it we got the sellers and the buyers and the buyers have to equally be respectful of the time and the efforts and everything. So I always say buyers, you know, when we're going to look for a property, understand the seller has really done a lot. Most sellers have really done a lot in preparing their homes for you to come and view it. They've had to move things. They've had to declutter. They tried to clean. Uh, we, we call in and we schedule appointments and they have to get the kids all packed up and, and get in the car, get their snacks and go down the street and park and, and you know so that you can go walk through their house through their privacy through their homes you know you have to remember this is their homes and they actually have to jump in yes they want to sell it so that's why they do it but we have to also respect the fact that they are doing this so that you'll be comfortable in your viewing time of their home so you know make sure that when we schedule a time so if we're scheduling a time from 12 to 12 20 or 12 30 buyers we have to be on time so if we say we're going to be there at 12, we need to be there and ready to show at 12, and we need to be out of there by 12.20 or 12.30, whatever the, the uh, showing time is. It's not that we say we're going to be there. For, we, we ask for a showing from 12 to 12.20, and we show there at 12.17 uh, and expect to have a 20-minute sh- walkthrough and showing. It doesn't work like that because... A lot of times there's either going to be a back-to-back showing or these people are trying to get back into their home. So we really need to respect their time in, in doing that. Now, sometimes things do happen and we may have to reschedule. That's life. Things happen. There's traffic if you're driving too far. But for the most part, we need to make sure that we are respecting the times that we schedule uh, a showing I've uh, worked with some people in the past and it's like they were just never on time and that makes it very difficult and then I try to reschedule right behind and that slot is already taken. Now we're on top of a no uh, uh, next showing or we're showing and we only have a five or ten minute window so we have to cut the showing short because the next agent is coming with their people and we can't stay in there with them. You know, that's just disrespectful to the next family that's coming in and so it's like okay if we want to get our full 20 or 30 minutes showing it's important that we're on time and we're showing because when I it's our time when I have a buyer and we're in the house and we're showing I open that lock box I go in I lock the door behind us and I let my buyer get their full 20 or 30 minutes showing alone I don't let someone else walk in because it's important for you as a buyer to take your time and really check out the home because this is a major purchase but i always say okay buyers be on time buyers be prepared the other thing that i always say is i i i suggest to my buyers and i actually give them in my buyer packet is uh is um bring a notepad bring a pad write down take notes write down things that you must have write them things that you saw that you kind of liked or you didn't like because once you start seeing multiple homes you might forget so bring your pen bring your pad write that address write you know questions that you have or didn't like this or what it was is is this chandelier staying is you know um is the outdoor playground staying 
Yeah, you know, things like that. Those are the things that we need to remember when we're looking at a house. And if you bring your notepad, then you can write that down or you can say, looked at this house, loved the kitchen, but uh, didn't like the outdated bathrooms, you know, need to figure out if I can, you know, change that out or write down things that we may want to try to negotiate with the, with the seller. So I always say when we're uh, buyers, when we are looking at homes, bring your notepad, be on time, be prepared to, uh, you know, take notes on things that we're, we're looking for. Also, be also prepared to take your shoes off sometimes because there are some homes that require us to remove our shoes. Um, I had some, you know, some people just really, they have either really nice, clean, freshly clean carpet and they don't want you to track it up. There's some people that is actually a religious belief that you can't wear your shoes in their home, in the home. So just also know that there's some guidelines and things that we may have to do that you normally wouldn't do. So uh, be prepared to take off your shoes. A funny uh, thing happened with the buyer is that when we got, well, the husband came in and we're like, okay, you know, we have to take the boots off. And he's like, what? We're like, yeah, we have to remove the shoes. He's like, oh no. He says, okay, don't look. And when he took his boot off, his 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 socks were the toe came all the way through the front of the socks and the wife was so embarrassed she's like I told you to throw those socks away and he's like these are my favorite socks and they're very comfortable and and she was like how are they comfortable when your toe is at the end of the uh, cold boot and it was just really funny because he had to walk around with his toe while we saw the house with his toes exposed but you know it was his favorite socks but he wasn't prepared to take it, his his boots off but that that was another kind of funny thing but um, the other thing is buyers when we are showing a house make sure you bring those people with you that will be helping you make those uh, this that that major decision so um, if it's you and your spouse or a mother or sister whoever's coming with you make sure that you bring those people with you um, it's not a real good thing. I mean, we can always have a second showing, third, third showing. We can always do that. But it's a little um, uncomfortable when you go and you see a house and then you're like, can we come tomorrow? Because my husband wants to see it now. And then you say, can we show again uh, the next day? Because I'm going to bring my mom and my auntie and my cousins to look at it too. And then we're at a third showing and they're like, the agent's like, are y'all interested? Are y'all going to make an offer? And then we come back and go, no, we were just looking at it, but we've had three showings. So make sure that when we do schedule a showing that those people that are very important in making the decision, the decision on purchasing the home is with you. It's not that we can't do a second showing or something, but we don't want to just keep coming back and showing and showing and showing and we're really not interested in the property. So that's one. That's another thing that we really have to make sure that when we're buying and, and looking, bring those people with you that that's it's going to make a difference that it's you know they're going to help you make uh, that major decision uh on the property and you know and, and like i said we're always could do a second shop showing that's not a problem but we don't want to just keep coming back and back and back and, and not really have an interest in the in the property but um this is just me and how I do things um, when we're also buyers when I say be prepared that means make sure that you also have your pre-approval you know that you can qualify for that home because once we see a home and you really love a home we're going to make an offer and we need to make sure that we let that seller know that you are already approved and you're ready to go and we don't want you know, to waste any time or anything to fall through. We want to try to make the transition as smooth as possible. And that means knowing that you are financially ready for that property. And that's by having a pre-approval and you get that through a lender. And once we make, once you see a home, we want to move on that home quick because more than likely, if you're loving it, somebody else is loving it. And we want to try to put the best offer up and have no hesitations or waiting for any type of letter to come and say, okay, yeah, now we can. More than likely, we might miss out on it. Not saying that 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 you won't, you will miss out, but I'm just saying 
when you find something, you have to be prepared to start making that offer. And when we make that offer, we send that pre-approval letter over to that seller's agent and we let them know that, hey, you're already approved and you are serious about this house. So that's something that I say with the buyers is buyers be prepared to uh, view the property uh, and most definitely be on time because we have that window that we show and we want to make sure you're able to utilize that full window that we've scheduled and also have your pre-approval letters ready to go. So when we find that home that you love, we're going to jump on it and we're going to give it the best offer we can and get you into your dream home. So that's a moment with tyranny talking about buyers this time, but thank you everyone for joining me again. Next week is going to be off the chain. We have a, a guest with us and I'm excited about that. So you make sure you make sure to join us uh, next week. Same time. Of course, you already know I have to end a moment with tyranny with a quote and the quote for today is enjoy the little things in life for one day you'll look back and realize they were the big things. And one more time, I say it. Enjoy the little things in life. For one day, you'll look back and realize they were the big things. See you next week. Thank you for joining a Moment with Tyranny podcast.